Hey guys, how you doing today? It is Steve on the Guru Brew. The Guru Brew channel recently did 20,000 subscribers. Actually, we're up to 20,127. And the shop was in need of a 3D printer to play with. And we'll be making videos on it for you about it. And this was a kit. And uh, you're going to go back in time in a minute and I'll start putting this stuff together. But anyway, this is our little celebration gift to ourselves, a 3D printer. And you'll be getting benefit out of it too by watching us put it together and use it. So anyway, stay tuned and we'll play with our new 3D printer. Okay, well, I wanted to show you what I purchased exactly and where I got it and how much it is and all that stuff. So here on my computer, I'm at makerfarm.com. I'll put a link in the description. And this is the kit that I ordered. It's the Prusa 10-inch I3V kit, V-slot extrusion. So it has a 10 by 10 by 10 working area and that's one of the things that really drew me to it. You can see I've got a special price here of $590. It was a regular $620. So that was a pretty decent deal for its size. And it has a heated bed and it can be run without a computer using this control panel. And, you know, I've never owned a 3D printer before, so I kind of winged it when I picked one out. And um, this is the one I settled on, the Prusa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, it has linear rails, and it's an open build. In other words, um, somebody came up with this design, and they put it in public domain, and then makers have improved on it and come up with their own version and kitted it. So it's a proven design. And um, there was a few options that uh, I went ahead and got a different head than what came with it. I got the, uh, let's see, the, f the 0 0.40 millimeter hexagon nozzle for three millimeter filament. And the reason why I got this is it prints ABS, PLA, and higher temperature material. So I actually had to add $20 to the order to get that uh, special nozzle. But uh, still a pretty good deal. And also they had uh, $5 off spools of material. So I went ahead and got this material. I decided to go with the ABS versus the PLA after doing some investigative work. And I'm going to actually have a comparison video in the near future when I get this thing going and see what's better, PLA or uh, ABS. But, um, you know, I got $5 off this $30 roll, and it's 2.2 pounds of 3 millimeter natural. And... Uh, as far as the specifications, um, it comes with ramps, 1.4 electronics, which is pretty popular in the 3D world. And you can see the build envelope is 10 by 10 by 10. And the LCD interface has an SD card, which uh, prints without a PC. That's, that was kind of desirable, too. So that was another reason it sold me. And, of course, the heat bed. And here's some new features. It has the bed leveling kit, and um, all the my, the what the uh, motors are pre-wired. So anyway, I'm uh, I'm hoping it will come out great. And um, I just wanted to show you where I got this and how much I paid for it with shipping and the extra spool. And I think I've got just under seven hundred dollars, which is pretty decent price for a ten by ten by ten kit. All right. Well, this is the 3D printer from Maker Farm, and they're located in Utah. Everything fits in this one box, and I should have a, a spool of uh, filament here. So let's see how it looks. 
can hardly wait. So excited. Okay, we emptied the box and everything seems to be neatly wrapped in its own container. All the electronics, the extrusion, got some nice little boxes here. Don't know what's in them yet, but uh, a couple bags, all the plywood parts, and a roll of the uh, ABS filament. All right, so we'll uh, begin building. We unwrapped the plywood, and I want to say it looks really good. You can see it looks like a big jigsaw puzzle. And some of the pieces are starting to fall out, which is good, because that means we won't struggle trying to get them apart. And everything looks labeled really good, too. I'll show you this one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna open up the directions and uh, get build. We'll speed this video up. As far as the build instructions go, here on their website, they have a tab for build instructions for all the different machines. Here's the one that I have here, the laser cut 10 inch. And um, it's a PDF file and it has nice color pictures and it seems pretty thorough. I'll let you know once I get into it, but uh, here's the table of contents, and uh, it has 50-some uh, pages here, so I should also mention that uh, the only thing that this didn't come with is a power supply, which you can use a PC power supply. I think it requires at least 450 watts. And I have an extra one of those. I have a couple to choose from, so we'll figure that out. And then a piece of glass for the top of it, and that'll be that 10 by 10 inch glass. I think it's gotta be around uh, an eighth of an inch thick. And I actually uh, just bought a pitcher frame, cheap pitcher frame to take the glass out of. And I'll be using that to start with. And then of course the, the filament for the uh, extrusion. Other than that, everything else is included, inclu including uh, some tools and so forth. But anyway, I'll let you know as I go how the instructions work out. It seems, seems pretty good at first glance. I'm going to set up over here in the corner and start building it. And I'll set my laptop over there and just take it page, page for page and... Uh, see how it goes let me see how many pages this is 55 pages and at the very end they give you some you know troubleshooting tips and also um, I noticed that they give you instructions and some files on how to or rather some parts for this in other words you can print some of your own parts for replacement parts if they should ever wear out which is kind of nice all right, well, I just wanted to show you the directions, the PDF file. You can actually check it out if you follow the link in the description of this video that I give you. That's it for now. Well, okay, this is our first piece. I'm not going to record everything that we do. I'll show you different steps, but uh, there's a really good video already for this. Um, if you look in the link for the uh, Maker Farm, they, should, they have videos on their PDF. But it went together pretty easy. Um, the bearings in the, these collars were different than what the kit, what he had shown, but uh, it was easy enough to figure out. And uh, once we figured out all the little bolts, we had to you know separate, put them in these little tubs and figure out what sizes. So I think the worst is over. Now we just have to build all the rest of the parts. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, I couldn't get away without incident. Right in between the fingers with the screwdriver. Should work great now that we got first blood. All right, moving right along. 
We're going to install the motors in a minute. These are four wire, 66 ounce per inch. Thought about putting these on. What do you think? Real fat. Yeah, we'll stick with the small ones. So this is the filament that we thought we would try. This is 2.2 pounds of three millimeter ABS filament in natural color. I've been doing some reading uh, ABS versus PLA and in my mind ABS wins but uh, I plan on doing a show that uh, compares the two more in depth. Alright, we'll give it a try. We needed a piece of glass for the heat bed and it asked for 10 by 10. Um, so I just picked this up at the dollar store for one buck. There's a piece of glass in here. We're going to try to use that. This is 10 by 8, but uh, it should work. So I'm just playing around with the 3D printer. And um, i got to bundle these wires up. You know, and route them. The, uh, the video that... Uh, Maker Farm made for these assembly videos was pretty good, but uh, I think some improvement could be made about the uh, wiring harnesses and you know how the wire routes. I'm thinking about using some of that, uh, it's a sleeve that's a spiral and you put it over the top of wires and it keeps it into a nice bundle. I know you can buy them locally at Radio Shack. Uh, I'm probably going to pay a lot more though, but uh, at least I could get it in faster. Because I don't like all these little single wires and, you know, I think they should be a solid unit. And uh, so I'm going to definitely spend the time wiring this. I haven't even put my controller board on it yet. Hang on a sec, I'll get it and show you. Yes, as you may have guessed, I dropped this parts bin on the floor and it went everywhere. So, anyway, um, I've got my handheld camera here. And I just want to show you what I'm working on here. I'm trying to tidy up these wires. And right now I'm on the bottom side of it. Trying to follow these rails. I'm ultimately going to have to drill holes, but I'm temporarily hooking them up here where I want them. And, uh, so it's a tedious process, but uh, I want really good wiring that's not going to get in the way of any moving parts. So that's what I'm working on. I need to uh, get some more zip ties. I used that entire bag they gave me. I have these on hand, but uh, I don't like them. They're cheap quality. They're hard plastic. And uh, I want to get some good quality ones. But I can still temporarily do all my wiring with the cheap ones. You can see I've got a couple right here. There's a green and a yellow one. And uh, just miscellaneous. So anyway, I'm getting this wrapped up. It's going to take me a while because there's a lot of wires here. And I was going to show you the uh, controller board that's sitting down in here. And it's got to go on this wall right here, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. And there's also a relay. Let's see if we can pull it out. Yeah, here's the relay here. And the reason why I do have a relay is this heat bed right here is 10 inches square. And you can get away with running an 8 inch square through this board. But the 10 inch requires um, too many amps. So we're using a relay and basically this is just powering the little relay. And then I'm running my wattage through this. So, anyway, 
it mounts up here somewhere. I've got to check out the documents. I think this goes like that. And then uh, maybe the relay goes up here. I'm not real sure. I have to check and see what they're saying. But you can see I've got a lot of wires here to tie up. I've got to extend the fan motor on the extruder. Look how short that is. I can't go anywhere with that thing. They did mention that I had to extend them. It's a little annoying, but uh, we'll get we'll get through it. This is a kit. This is what you get when you buy a kit. So anyway, not for the real faint of heart. If you're not into building things and you get lost easily I recommend you just buy one of these completely assembled unless you have the skills to do this because it is um, it's not hard to do but it's very tedious and a lot of things are assumed you know that you should already know how to do if you're doing a build on this scale because this is uh, it's quite mechanical and electrical all right, I'm going to keep moving on this, and then I'll go over some of the parts with you and what I think of them, such as these uh, these rod nuts here. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so I have to extend the wires on this fan right here. I thought I'd go ahead and do that. They gave me an extra wire for a therm sensor that I won't be using. There's actually quite a few extra wires in that kit, so that's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and cut this end off and then, uh, you know, join this wire on and put the end on here so I can extend that. So, over to the solder table. Well, thanks for watching it up to this point. We've got a lot of wiring left to do and I've got to get the power supply in. I originally was going to use a 500 watt computer power supply, but uh, after reading, I really need a full 350 watts just on the uh, 12 volt line. And I would have to bring the two rails together to give me that and I didn't feel comfortable doing that. so. I'm just, I just went ahead and uh, bought the power supply. It'll be here in a couple of days, and by then, all this wiring should be wrapped up. And as soon as we get it wrapped up, uh, I'll show you the features. Like I said, I'll go through all these parts and tell you what I think of them. There are some things that I really liked about this kit from Maker Farm, as well as Denton Like, and uh, I'll discuss each. Anyway, um, if you have comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you again. Thanks for watching.